Guys, this is going to be fun. We are going to take a look at 10 of the best slim EDC knives on the market, in my opinion. And these are ones that I've picked because they're my favorites. So let's look at the logo and then crack into it. Well, we're going to look at all 10 of these. We're going to start with this one, the one that most people are going to have pop into their head. The Benchmade 940. And I do love the 940. I do give it a lot of crap. It is still an amazing, slim EDC knife. It's nice and robust. If you're looking for a heavy-duty blade, this is the knife you're going to want to go for in a slim EDC. It does have some issues. It is a little thick behind the edge, but you can get this in a lot of different variants. It has got one of the best locks on the market, which is the access or sliding bar lock. Very, very safe, very easy to use, completely ambidextrous. These come in carbon fiber, um, Carbon fiber, aluminum, they've got different blade steels. There's a miniature one, a smaller one, which is actually really cool. Um, this is an awesome, awesome knife. What you get is a full-sized EDC coming in just at a, about 8 inches in a nice slender format, really thin and small. They did a very good job of one-to-one -one blade to handle ratio, and you just it's an attractive knife, and it has been... It has been one of the knives that has just really garnered a huge following in the knife community. So there you go, your first one, the Benchmade 940 and all of its little variants. Is it perfect? No, but it's still a great slim EDC. The Oaks Works, a Solar Storm, Oaks Works EDX Solar Storm by Eric Oaks. Now this is a very similar knife to the 940 in size and hand feel. But what you're getting is a lot of the things that I don't like about the 940 have been taken care of in this. You've got a very, very nicely done M390 blade that is done in a hollow grind so that that narrow blade still cuts really well. It's very attractive. You've got very well done inlays on this and you've got an area here on both sides that give it that bolstered look, but is actual functional jimping. In hand, super, super comfortable. It's got a very nice uh, frame lock on it. Pocket clip and everything has been milled beautifully. This thing is a dream to carry. This is one of the best knives on the market in its size category. This is an amazing little knife. And on top of everything else, it is just a very gorgeous knife. You got this beautiful, beautiful milling all over. This thing is a winner. I will have as many links to these knives as I can down below. So let's move on to the next one. This is a really, really cool one. This is the Canset Prickle, and this is another knife that comes in several different variations. Um, I had the full copper one that Jared Neves sent me to review. This thing is awesome. It is a very slim, very, very slim, almost Japanese dagger style folder. This one is in 154 cm. This thing, even though it is a thick blade stock on a very narrow blade, they did a very good job coming down to an aggressive, sharp, thin behind the edge profile. It is in a liner lock that is just beautiful. There is only one means of deployment. It's a front flipper. Typically, I'm not a fan on this one. Absolutely wonderful. You've got a very nice pocket clip, beautiful weight reduction done in this. This is a light knife. The G10 and copper on this one look really nice. And the action on this for a small little knife with a light blade is amazing. It's amazing. They did a good job. Now, some people will be put off because there is no other deployment method, but really, once you get it in hand and you carry it, you realize that it's pretty awesome just the way it is with just the front flipper. So there you go. The Cancept Prickle. Guys, you guys know I love coffee. I even have my own personalized coffee mug. But did you know that a lot of the coffee companies out there take a lot of the money that you give them that they should be throwing back into the company to make a better product and turn it into activism dollars? Coffee Brand Coffee does not do that. They take no stance politically any direction. They take all the money that they make and try to make a better product. So if you want to support this channel and a company that I absolutely do like the fact that they don't lean either direction politically, check out Coffee Brand Coffee. There's a link down below that will save you 5% at checkout, or you can use the coupon code Crazy Sharp, all one word, capital C, capital S, Crazy Sharp, all one word. They also have cold brew coffee, teas, and cocos, freshly ground and roasted to order. So check them out, support them, and support this channel. This is going to be one of two Laconico designs that are on this video. This is the Artisan Sirius by Ray Laconico. This, until recently, was my favorite of the Laconico designs. This thing is done really well. Nice slender blade in S35VN and is it, this is a uh, S35VN and Micarta. They have a version that is in ARRPM9 as well. You've got a 
nice, nice, nice front flipper and thumb stud. This thing has got one of the nicest pocket clips on a knife. It comes down so comfortable. Beautiful grinds on this. You've got this big swedge on top that has got a little bit of the flat left in it. So you get multiple facets. They've given you an option of a lanyard without an ugly lanyard hole. It's got a beautifully done lines a beautifully done backspace. So the lines on this are awesome. The action is just shy of drop shut. This is one of the smoothest knives on their lineup. So there you go. The Ray Laconico designed Artisan Sirius. This is the Sen Cut Chiral. This is a Ferrum Forge design. This is a beautiful little sheep's foot with micarta. These are done in 9CR18 MOV, which is a very good steel that gets overlooked a lot of times. Nice curvature on this running from the tip here up into the, the back of the spine. And then the spine just arcs all the way. It is one consistent radius. Feels super comfortable in hand. Nice liner lock on this with very little weight reduction done, but it's still a very light knife. Access to lock bars, great. The action on every send cut I've had is super smooth. This was, uh, this is another one of those Ferrum Forge designs that has just really, really appealed to me. So comfortable in hand. Deep carry pocket clip, not a hot spot easy to carry. The in and out of pocket on this is super, super good. And in pocket, it just almost disappears. You forget that it's there. I love the fact that some of these knives, they're doing like pops of polish and matte. So you've got these polished black liners, and then they've just like a pop of color in between the scales and the backspacer. So the Sen Cut Chiral, great, great new knife. I had just put this in my pocket the other day and I fell in love with it. This is the second of the Laconico designs. This is the Monterey Bay Knives Slayback. And this is a great, great knife right here. You got carbon fiber, titanium pocket clip, composite ZDP, a, a laminated ZDP 189 blade that is just a screamer through cardboard. This is super thin behind the edge, really aggressive forward leaning Warren Cliff style blade, nice and piercing at the tip. This thing is so comfortable in hand. That ZDP 189 is at about 67 Rockwell, if I remember correctly. And I have not had to sharpen this except the first edge that I put on it. And it has just cut and cut and cut. Super light, liner lock, beautiful pocket clip on this. Monterey Bay Knives has some of the not just most interesting and attractive pocket clips, but comfortable and functional. This is one of the lightest little knives I came away with at a, at a show ever and it just, it cuts well better than it than its weight would indicate. This is one of the coolest looking knives that Monterey Bay Knives has made, and it's just amazing. So there you go, the Monterey Bay Knives Slayback designed by Ray Laconico. Nothing makes me happier than a good Warren Cliff, and this is one of the best ones to hit the market here recently. This is the Precision Knife Works Warren Tack. Daniel sent this to me. This thing is insanely good. It is a very simple, bare bones, workhorse performer, nice and slim, easy to carry. It's done in titanium and 20 CV. And what you're getting is a super, super thin hollow or behind the edge, hollow ground blade coming in at 0 0.018 behind the edge. I have not found anything that this just does not scream through. It came nightmare sharp. These are being done for Daniel by QSP. And it is a simple reverse flick only frame lock. The milling on it is beautiful. You've got all of this and it's functionally comfortable and tactile. It doesn't feel slippery or anything like that. Pocket clip is amazing in and out of pocket. Even went to the point of putting this on the inside so it doesn't catch on pockets and provided you reversible pocket clip with a space saver. If you have not checked one of these out, you absolutely need to. They are amazing and I'm sure there'll be more of these coming from him in different materials, different anodizing. So there you go. This knife probably needs no introduction. This is the CJRB Pyrite, one of the most popular releases so far this year. This is the titanium drop point version. There's also a Warren Cliff version. There's a steel version that you can get. These are awesome, awesome knives. Beautifully done button lock on this, thumb stud only. The titanium version is very, very nice. The drop point blade on this is done in ARRPM9 and it's ground nice and thin behind the edge. ARRPM9 is very easy to maintain and upkeep with a strop. 
The button locks on these are amazing. Nice deep carry pocket clip on this that is reversible because a button lock is a truly ambidextrous lock. Thumb stud only, but man, it is just buttery. And their, their work on their titanium, the finish on their titanium has just been amazing on all of their knives. That super fine finish and then that nice, nice blade finish of that deep stone wash. CJRB has just really killed it this year with the releases, and I think this has earned its spot as one of their top releases. This is the Kaiser Infinity, and uh, I just recently started carrying this. This is an awesome, awesome little knife. Unique, unique shape to this, but it is super comfortable, and it is one of the sharpest knives out of the box I've had in a very long time. It literally terrifyingly sharp. This is done in N690, it's got this nice leaf-shaped blade, very comfortable handle, deep carry pocket clip so you can carry it nice and forward. This is not a very big knife. I've got about a three and a half finger grip on that, but the action on this is just beautifully smooth. I don't know what Kaiser does on their smaller knives that still makes them amazingly smooth. Only flipper deployment, so that might be an issue for someone. There are no thumb studs, but this comes in a couple different versions. I know there's a front, front flipper version of this. The micarta on this. Look at the black micarta on this. And then same thing, polished and then coated liners that give you that flash and pop. And you're going to talk about a knife that it's comfortable to use and has really good lock bar access. This would be it. All around, I'm pretty impressed with this. So let's move on to our last knife. And it's the Ferrum Forge Design Stinger. So this is Ferrum Forge Designs. This is their in-house brand. Uh, this is an amazing, amazing knife. I've had this for a while. This one is in, uh, this one is a 9CR because it was a prototype, but I believe they're in Nitro V. They now have a button lock version that's out. And this is one of the sm nicest small EDCs that you get that you can get way up on and really use. It's got a beautifully shaped blade that comes down super thin behind the edge, just screams through material. The handles on it are super comfortable no matter what grip you've got it in. You've got this fuller area here where you can reverse, oh, I got my finger in the way. You can reverse flick off that fuller and you've got the forward or the back flipper tab there. Nice deep carry pocket clip on this one. And this is one of the lightest knives that you're going to get. They did such a good job getting a lot of weight reduction done in here. And then having a backspacer that is made out of the same material as the scales. And then, as like I said, another pop of color with that black coated scales our liners, and then it's sandwiched in between the scales. I love that look. Now, this one's been modified. This is my personal one. I did do a black ceramic coating and red ceramic on the inlays on this blade, but you cannot go wrong with any of the knives we've looked at. Guys, let's turn this around, do some final thoughts, and send you out about your day. So there you go, guys. Slim EDCs are great. They're always nice to have in your pocket because they don't take up as much space. A lot of times you can carry them in a pair of slacks and things like that, and they don't make as big an impact on pocket space, or if you're looking for something that might not show or be as aggressive in certain scenarios, a nice slim EDC can be elegant, uh, to tell you the truth. So that was 10 of the best ones that I could find, that I could think of, that I had available for filming. I just thought I'd show them to you. Guys, not to make this video any longer, you know how you can support the channel. Thumbs up, thumbs down on the video. Any interaction's good, but if you don't like the video, tell me why I can't change it. If you don't, tell me what you don't like. Lots of ways you can support the channel. I'm sure that I dropped a sponsor link in there or a sponsor spot in there for Coffee Brand Coffee. I also have Tempered Trail. You can use the coupon code Crazy Sharp all in word at either one of those. I have got an Amazon store down below. You can take that link, pin it to your browser, do all of your Amazon shopping. It supports the channel and doesn't cost you anything at checkout. And I have a tier-based membership where I've got three tiers. All the tiers have access to the Gilded Server and exclusive videos that I put out for the members. The baseline and premium tier members are entered into giveaways that's separate of the stuff I do on YouTube. And the premium guys have access to a sharpening tutorial series here on YouTube behind that paywall. Guys, that's it on this one. I love you all. Keep it clean in the comment section. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. I'll see you in the next video.